Dr. Uh, Devlin, thank you for your insight. Uh, Mr. Ellis, uh, let's continue with, uh, with this question because I actually highlighted some areas or key issues that we, we can brainstorm on to be able to better understand uh, the, the effect, of course, of these uh, coup d'etat in contemporary Africa, uh, an Africa that is actually experiencing uh, a, a positive win of change. So we want to look at now, still in respect to the international community, uh, what is the role of the international community in responding to, to this coup, including diplomatic initiatives, uh, sanctions, or military interventions? Mr. Ellis? Please, uh, your mic, Mr. Ellis. My apologies. Okay. The, firstly, the question that you addressed to Dr. Eddy, I'd like to add just something critically there in terms of what can be done in order to improve the circumstances on the ground. And we talk about constitution, but I would like to examine history for a second. Um, on the 27th of April, 1961, John Fitzgerald Kennedy made a speech and the speech that he gave, I believe, was why he was assassinated, right? He, he, and I quote here, he says, the very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are, as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to, to secret oaths, to secret proceedings. We decided long ago that the dangers of excessive and unwarranted concealment of pertinent facts far outweighed the dangers which are cited to justify it. Even today, there is a little value in opposing the threat of a close society by imitating its arbitrary restrictions. And this is the last bit I would quote from him. He says, and there is very grave danger that an, un an announced need for increased security will be seized upon by those anxious to expand its meaning to the very limits of official censorship and concealment. If we do not examine history and understand where we're coming from, we will have no idea where we are going. As an engineer, I do root cause analysis in order to understand what exactly is happening that is preventing the will of the people from being manifested. And I want to add one part of the constitution when we have constitutional change in all of these countries in Africa. And this is that, if you are a member of the Freemason or any, the Knights of Malta or any other of these institutions, you are automatically disqualified from being able to hold civilian office. And I repeat myself, if you are a member of the Freemason or any secret society, you are automatically disqualified in order to take civilian office. People need to understand the dangers of men, women sitting in secret rooms, making a gender on behalf of a people thousands of miles away. And I want us to say this, that if you want to eliminate um, this, 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 this complete subversion of sovereignty that we see all throughout Africa and throughout the world, as a matter of fact, because there is no sovereignty or, or, or democracy in America. If you examine the, the, the data that is coming out of, of Georgia and, and um, some of the other states, you'll see that there were manipulation of even the votes. And so, of course, you know, we do not have democracy anywhere. And the question is, why is this the case? Why did JFK die about a year and a half subsequent to making the speech? And of course, Eisenhower um, that came before him also warned about the military industrial complex. The military industrial complex are manned by individuals that are coming out of the Freemason, skull and bones, and all of these very nefarious societies, and they do not represent the interest of the people. You have even political leaders that have admitted in the past that they do not, they, they do not take their agenda from the people who voted them into power, allegedly, right? They are taking their agenda from somebody else. And one of the points that um, Mr. Devely mentioned about um, it is true that being a democratic leader doesn't automatically make you a good leader. 
and that you can have potentially good dictatorships. However, we cannot and we should not condone the idea of dictatorships at all. This should be an absolute no. Yes, Gaddafi was was a, was a, was a, was was bringing forth good agenda, and of course he challenged the status quo. And it was let's not forget it was Sarkozy that championed that he should be removed because he wanted to bring forth the gold back dinar, and the gold back dinar would have been a significant threat um, to the, the 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 fiat CFA franc that exists in 15 African countries today. So it is about the money. It is about the ability to be able to um, ensure that the wealth of the country gets transferred down from the elite, the bourgeoisie, from the aristocracy that exists, down to the people. And a part of the significant, and the problem of this is the fact that the governments that are put in power, whether dictatorships, because the West has no problem with dictatorships, it's whether these dictatorships have been made in their own image. And if they have been made in their own image, they have no problem because they will carry out and facilitate their own agenda. And therefore they, they will keep them and say, okay, fine, this dictatorship is good and this one is bad. And so you know, Saddam Hussein, for example, let's not forget that it's only, it's, it's almost, it was 2003, so 20 years ago that we saw the Iraq invasion on false pretext of weapons of mass destruction, right? Because yeah. Saddam Hussein decided that he, he would not um, continue to use the dollar. So if we want to understand how we should go about implementing policy um, you know, to, to ensure that we are moving towards uh, a civilian rule that supports the interest of the people, we have to eliminate and add to the constitution that each individual that wants to um, abide in, um, in, in, uh, in, in, in to take civilian Take civilian take a position as a as a, as a as a civil servant. You cannot. You should not be a member of any secret society. And I'll just leave it there.